Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. We've seen her try to be Wallace. We've definitely seen her cosplay as Diana. I've even gone into this, whatever's going on here where she's copying Angelina Jolie. I've fallen down a rabbit hole and I'm taking you with me, you guys. It's the Julia Roberts episode. We need to talk about this. So much to discuss. I know you've heard the comparison, but when I tell you some of the startling details I found when deep diving this, oh, I'm excited to bring it to you. Let's get into this. Okay, so when you Google Meghan Markle and Julia Roberts, a million things like this pop up, which kind of makes me laugh. Meghan Markle is determined to befriend Julia Roberts. Meghan Markle desperate to befriend Julia Roberts. Lots of things about Meghan Markle and Julia Roberts. Did you know about this? So this was from 2017. Meghan Markle, the 10 women who changed my life. That's right. Shocker to nobody, Julia Roberts is listed. Why is this important? I'll tell you. She credits Julia with the reason she wanted to get into acting. Again, this was 2017. So she was already dating Dum Dum, not quite married to Dum Dum. And uh, remember, this is something she did. She would put her name in articles with famous people. She did it with Ellen and the dog. She did it with Harry, trying to get her name associated with his before they were dating. And then she started doing it with Julia Roberts. It's my belief she did it for the media to draw the comparison there, but also to try to get Julia Roberts to reach out to her. Don't worry, things get weirder. Okay, so it is alleged that Megan, we've discussed it, she allegedly had a nose job, and it's alleged she got it to look more like Julia, kind of that style. Need more? Okay, you got it. Think about variety. Do you remember this horrible photo shoot? (laughs) People said she looked like Cardi B, but no, no, look at the smile. Just saying, trying to go for that Julia Roberts. Oh yeah, here too. Same photo shoot. Hey, look at that. That big, toothy Julia Roberts look. Also worth mentioning this one. Same photo shoot on her tummy, taking pictures in a pink dress. Oh, oh, weird, right? What a coincidence. Okay, let's keep going. Posing in a hazy field of flowers? Check. I know you know this one. You probably thought of this one when you first saw that this was a Julia Roberts comparison. Famously worn in Pretty Woman to the polo match. And hey, look at that. Wearing polka dots to a polo match. How about this one? Loose fitting white suit? Check. Very short tuxedo dress? Check. Wearing a white button down and trying to make it part of evening wear? Ooh, did that too. Check. Linen shorts with shoulder pads? Check. Seriously though, how many of these do I need to show you before you realize, yeah, this is weird. Don't worry, it gets even weirder. Messy buns, check. Remember all those times that Megan wore Givenchy from the awful wedding dress to that fashion awards? And I just thought it was a big middle finger to, I don't know, British fashion to wear a French designer. No, look at this. Guess who was a spokesperson for Givenchy? That's right. You got it, Julia Roberts. All right, then guess what else? I started looking into more similarities. Remember that messy bun? How could we forget? On her wedding day, couldn't be bothered to do her hair for a wedding. Um, Yeah, it was done by this guy. His name is Sergei Normand. And guess who else he's a hairstylist for? That's right, Julia Roberts. Just don't write this stuff off as a coincidence. It would be a very calculated move for her to use somebody like Julia Roberts' stylist to have an in with Julia Roberts. All right, want more? I got gotcha, you. Don't worry. Remember that movie Notting Hill? This is a scene from that. Who's that? Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant. All right, and then remember their announcement for Lily. Here you go. Look familiar? I think so too. Okay, this part gets dark. Go with me on this journey. Ready? One of the stories that came out is that allegedly when she had a miscarriage, she was holding Archie. She felt a sharp cramp, dropped to the floor with Archie in her arms. You guys, think with me about this. Steel Magnolias. Julia Roberts plays Shelby. And what happens? She picks up her son Jackson. She has a sharp pain. She drops to the floor. Chills and absolutely disgusted when I realized this. I don't know how to transition from this, so we're just going to move on. 
I just, this part's haunting me. All right, let's take a look at this next thing. All right, we talked about Pretty Woman. We talked about the polo match, but there's something else that is haunting my soul that I realized when putting this together. This is the famous red dress that Julia wore with her, I don't know what you call it, glow up scene in, in Pretty Woman, right? She wore this beautiful red dress. She was presented with the pearls. You know the scene. Okay. Tell me you see it too. Do you, I mean, is this her shitty attempt at wearing this red dress? I never put it together. I mean, she always gets it wrong. So is this the red dress just gotten completely wrong? <laughs> I can't not see it. It's the east and west boobs. I can't not see it. It's the gathered material. I can't not see it. I think... Could I be onto something? Do you see it too? Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this here. Dying to know your thoughts on this one. I know we've discussed the similarities before, but really going into these <laughs> is kind of eye-opening and kind of scary, right? Let me know your thoughts. Can't wait to read them. As always, thank you so much for being here. Let me know if there's another celebrity you feel like she's cosplaying because I'd love to do a breakdown of that as well. Take care. Have the best day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.